The last few weeks I've been watching this rather unknown show called The Last of Us. Ever since I played the first game in the franchise a few years ago, I've been in love with the atmosphere and environment design of the world. I mean, look at this. And there's a reason why it looks so good. It's because thousands of people have spent tens of thousands of hours modeling every single detail you see on screen. But I'm alone, and I usually have one week for a project. That's why I've never even dreamt of making anything like that. But then the lovely people from Kitbash 3D slid into my DMs and were like, yo, we've got this new software called Cargo that's launching pretty soon. It lets you import all these models into Blender with like one click. You, um, you wanna try it? And I was like, hell yeah, I wanna try it. So in this video, I'll be making a huge The Last of Us inspired post-apocalyptic scene in 3D. To be completely transparent, the Kitbash 3D team did not pay me for this video, but they did give me access to all of their assets on Cargo. And I mean, who in their right mind would decline that offer? But there's actually a free version that you can download right now. It contains all these assets. But let's get into the video. First, I had to gather some reference material and I went on Pinterest. In my opinion, Pinterest is one of the best sites for gathering reference material because every time you click an image, you get this new feed of similar images. I really like these abandoned New York City artworks and I wanted to go for something similar in my scene. And after I felt like I had enough reference material, I was ready to jump into Blender. Obviously, I started by placing some humans for scale and then I used the Blender GIS add-on to find a random street in New York City and to import the Google Maps 3D data into Blender. This is really helpful to get the proportions of the city right. Now I can see how wide the streets and how tall the buildings are. Next, I just had to replace all the blocky Google Maps buildings with the detailed Kitbash 3D models from Cargo. Well, and that took me like five minutes. I just choose a building, press download, import, and then the model just magically appears in Blender. That's pretty mind blowing. <laughs> And I used an HDRI from HDRI Haven for the lighting. Sunsets make everything look better. In the world of The Last of Us, most of the buildings are dirty or destroyed. And these ones look way too clean. So I used the Midjourney AI to generate some dirt and imperfection textures. You can download them for free on my Patreon page, link in the description. I used these textures to make the windows dirty and broken. For the facade, I took an ambient occlusion node and mixed it with another dirt texture to really make it look weathered and old. I did the same thing for all the other buildings. In the background, there is this taller tower and I used the knife tool to cut the tower in half and tilted the top slightly, which looked pretty nice. The street needed some more detail as well. In The Last of Us, the military bombed all the big cities right after the outbreak to contain the infected people. That's why I sculpted this piece of road with a crater in the middle. In Substance Painter, I applied an asphalt material and some dirt in the crater. I added some road markings and made them just barely visible because they are really old. And I added some asphalt patches to the road. Back in Blender, I filled the holes in the ground with some debris from cargo and I could finally use my 3D scanned curbs. This part was really fun because I could just fill the scene with whatever I wanted. It's like playing with Legos, but way better. Now I wanted to add some story to the scene. I looked through the DMZ kit on cargo and found these two watchtowers, which I placed in the scene. Maybe there's a group of survivors that set up camp in that street. This keep out sign was also pretty fitting. I set up some more fences as well as these NYPD blocks that I scanned. And I put a few wind turbines on the roof. Then I made the camera animation, which was relatively basic, and I put some exposed pipes into the crater hole. An abandoned city is usually overgrown by greenery. That's why I added grass and other small plants using G-Scatter, as well as some trees that I got from Botanic. I duplicated the car and moved it into the foreground to make the camera fly through the window. Oh, and I added ivy, a lot of ivy. The scene definitely needed some more movement and life. So I got this deer model from Sketchfab and rigged it with the help of Jonas from the channel Build. You should really check out his channel. I made a very, very primitive animation for the deer and stole some birds from an older project. Well, and that's basically it. After putting it all together and rendering for 20 hours, this is my final result. If you enjoy the video and the final animation, definitely subscribe to the channel and join the Patreon. 